Nicole. Welcome back to my channel. I have been thinking about this a lot because I made reading more reading more often one of my go-to number one um, New Year's resolution for 2018. And then I started talking to a few people and I asked like my mom, like has she ever like, does she like to read? Like, and then she told me no, and she's told me she's never even completed a book. And I was like, what? How? And why not? Um, I used to like to read a lot, and I don't read as much as I used to, and I wish I still did. So I started thinking, and then I talked to, like, my boss at my job. I just started talking to people and just asking them, like, if they like to read, do they like to read, and all of this other stuff. And they literally told me, main top number one, I wish... I like to read or I wish I had time to read you do you have so much time so I started thinking about it and then I started researching and it just kind of like it just hit a little home because I used to love to read and I totally don't even have that much oh I almost said it myself <laughs> not that I don't have time I just don't make time and that's one of the reasons that I want to talk to you about it's because we don't make time to want to read so I have written down a list and I wrote down eight steps on how to get yourself to read and complete a whole book. So stay tuned. I'm going to be honest. I'm trying to memorize these things and I wrote them all on a list. So I'm just going to keep it real. And I mean, maybe when I get better at giving advice and maybe when I get better and like more trained at this, I will actually be able to just be like, boom, top of my head. Or I should have probably like rehearsed this. But literally, I will try not to like have this stupid little paper in the video. And but I'm also like, I don't want to be like, so what did I say? I really wrote them all down, and I thought about them, and I brainstormed, and like I I I don't know why I don't remember. <laughs> but um, so eight steps on how to get. This is so lame. Okay, what if I eight steps on how to get yourself to read the book read a book and the whole book um first things first you need to figure out what you like just like youtube when creating content you need to figure out your niche you need to figure out what you like so what you like when you go pick a restaurant so you don't just go to chinese food and you've never had it i mean sometimes you do if you're optimistic and you want to like try stuff however a lot of people eat the norm so they'll they like pizza they'll go get pizza so just have to kind of figure out what type of book you like to read or what kind of genre you like um you're more you're no, what did i write okay so you're more yeah this is what i just said you're more likely to read and complete a book that you are interested in so some of these books i was interested in like this book the wild um it's a really good movie <laughs> And my best friend bought my best friend bought me this book and she's like, you'll love it so much. Then I saw it on Netflix and I started watching it and I'm like, oh my god, this is such a good movie. Then I forgot about the book and then I just was like, well, I already know what's gonna happen. But bad idea. Read books, read books. So I mean, and everyone's guilty. I'm not perfect. I just have have completed a book. And my mom told me she's never completed a book. Sorry, mom, no offense. But I was just like in shock and I'm like we're gonna figure it out so you just gotta find out like do you like horror do you like romance do you like action do you like motivational inspirational what kind of like cookbooks that could be a book read the whole thing flip through it read it like three times but like there's different books that you need to know like what you read Two, find your reading environment I personally like when I'm deep in a book I have to be in silence um, I've noticed like when I was studying like and in college I could read around noise like at Starbucks or at Panera Bread but when I'm reading and I'm like in depth and like trying to like focus on just the book I need to be in silence and um, I can't just sit in front of TV and like watch and read a book and be focused on the book I can't be in a room full of, pe full of people talking and I'm reading a book I used to but I mean you need to figure it out do you like to be in peace and quiet do you like do you need the noise some people I know would listen to music while they read weird but I like to focus fully on the book and just be able to like just focus and go number uh, three give yourself a goal each day that you would like to reach um like I'm gonna read a chapter a day I'm gonna read two pages a day I'm gonna read before bed um for an hour that's a goal so if you give yourself a goal and you set it 
then you should be able to just complete that goal each and day. And the more you can make it a habit, the more you'll be able to do it. And number four, um, give your, oh God, I combined three and four, sorry. So number three is just a, pick an accomplishment. And number four is set a time. So if you wanna wake up in the morning and read, you could do that. If you wanna read on your lunch, you could do that. If you wanna read when you get home, and no one's home, maybe you're home first and you just want to read at home, then go ahead and do that. Or right before bed, a lot of people I know like to read instead of watch TV or read to put themselves to sleep. Um, so pick your designated time and then have your set amount. Like I'm going to read a chapter a day. That's a good start. Like you have a chapter and you'll go. And sometimes they'll start two. You'll be like, oh my God, but I need to know what's next. So the second chapter. And then... Um, one, two, three, four, five, five. So you want to reduce or exchange um your tv time for reading so if you're a person that loves netflix which woo -woo, i totally love netflix love it just finished episode or season of blacklist so no judgment however i'm gonna give tv a break and then go to books so i mean pick a book pick i mean pick a time pick your show maybe maybe watch it or maybe watch it for an hour maybe only watch one episode instead of binge watching and then take some time out of your day to read a book and number six is read to a family member, um, a spouse, a child, a friend. Um, sometimes people like reading out loud, sometimes people do not. But when you do um, read out loud, sometimes you comprehend more. Or sometimes it could just be like a, a group thing. You could join a, a book club. That, I'm just, I'm literally mixing it all together. See, I didn't memorize it because that's number eight. And then a uh, thing that I did used to do all the time was carry a book around with me. And I still do that. I carry this, uh, think, this is what I'm currently reading, Think and Grow Rich. So, um, yeah, it's by uh, Napoleon Hill Foundation. Um, yeah, but I was, I was recommended this book. And this book is like skyrocketing, like sold on Amazon, so good. And it's also cheap on Amazon. I think I'm for like under eight bucks or 10 or 13 under $20 let's just say that but yeah I'm so I carry this in my purse all the time so um sometimes like if I get a chance I'll be I'll just read or sometimes if you know you just sit around waiting let's say you have a doctor's appointment pull out your book and read it whatever the case may be whatever your situation is but if you want to actually accomplish to complete a full book I would say try these eight steps um and if you do please um let me know in the comments down below let me know if they worked or if you have any other kind of um advice on how to complete or finish a book then leave them down below i mean i'm honestly this is something that i'm trying to work on so i am doing these steps myself so that i can read more books because you know when you read more you become more knowledgeable and there's never enough room for growing so yeah please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and enjoy it and if you love books give it a thumbs up and let me know any other advice or any other comments or if this did help you in the comments down below and um, let's do something different for all my like 10 subscribers. <laughs> no, but I just, I mean, I do appreciate the people that do support me. And I just want to know like, what's your favorite book? Please give me advice down below some books that you would like to read or that you have read. Um, and I'll go get them. I want to check them out. Maybe we can start a book club. Let me know. Hope you like it. Love you, mean it. Don't forget to subscribe. Bye. Um. Yeah, maybe we could just like join a book club, start a book club, I'll start a book club. You guys have to go get this book? Go get it, we can read it together. Okay, so please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it. And like I said, um, I right, hope you love it. Love it. Hope you love this video. Give a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. Love you, mean it. Bye.